With the design features of this kitchen, we've used English pippy oak throughout the entire kitchen and also within the carcass, with the main emphasis of being is losing all the wall cupboards so that we're enabling to keep all the plates, food sources in one cupboard, which yet again is all pippy oak and it creates a nice balance within the room and leaves us a lot of wall space so that we got clearance within the wall. I mean each each door, each drawer is hand traditionally made with through through tenons and also within the inside we've got solid shelving. Also the ability to move all the shelving up and down to wherever you need wherever you do need them. We do also work with having a modern technology in the kitchen. So within each door drawer runner, even though they're hand dovetailed made, you've also have the luxury ability of them being hand closed and a, a purpose drawer which will always keep going. Um, with one off pieces like this paint rack for example, this was to enhance the certain types of plates that were on the wall. So to show them off and also to show the piece of furniture off within its own being of itself. Uh, this was a one off piece that got designed after the whole kitchen got made purely to hide Guess what, the electrical box. So within that, we can hide the yellow plastic behind beautiful English pippy oak. Yet again, everything is also hand dovetailed made, but fits the whole kitchen. Then followed with the last piece over here, it was a small chest of drawers just to take the corner up, but yet again, still out of English pippy oak, but looking a little bit different from the rest of the kitchen but also enhances the rest of the kitchen with it and fits in very nicely. But then lead into the last piece here which is the island which is then hand painted but what we have got is this kitchen has had its tops all designed at a certain height for the clients so that they're able to have a good straight back posture when working within the kitchen.